Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose. We have arrived here at Port Canaveral. We are disembarking off the one and only Disney Wish. We have um, the later dining, so we, uh, I think I had breakfast at like eight past, or ten past eight. We're not really in too much of a rush. I mean, I'm up at 6.30 and probably just gonna see a nice, beautiful sunrise, but get this. Get this, I have large files because I've been filming in 4K, so the upload speed isn't really the best on the ship for uploading at 4K. 1080, it would have been good. I have been trying to upload my video that I had finished my boarding video, and I had it finished and I had it exported on my, my computer. I was uploading it since Saturday at 1 a.m., and now it's Monday the 18th, my birthday, and we are 40 minutes away. Hopefully it can finish uploading. It's been a journey for the first video of the series that you guys have seen. But welcome back to your daily dose. Let's go have some breakfast and get off the ship. I wanna show you guys what we all bought. And I'm gonna film a little bit because today is actually like my official birthday and I just wanna show you guys what I all did. And, and um, yeah, we're gonna get off the ship. It was wonderful. I just don't wanna leave. I need to have like a seven day cruise or even like a five. Here's my view, bittersweet, the worst day of a cruise. Gonna miss this room. However, if you are new to cruising, you will feel feel the, the ship for sure back here and you will hear the engine. So uh, maybe if you aren't, aren't an experienced cruiser or you, you, they actually do also have other ADA rooms. This is a beautiful room, don't get me wrong, but if if you're new to cruising, this room might not be for you. It was one of the best rooms I've ever had, by far. But just, you know, kind of letting you know there. Do we have any other ship over here? Nope. I wonder how, the other how many other ships are in port. And if you get up early, sometimes you can see some dolphins in here. They like to play around in the Port Canaveral here. It's 7 a.m. Casey's napping, still, or I guess still sleeping. We do have late dining, which is nice, because we had second di din dinner. At 7.15, I just heard an announcement outside that if you want to get off at 7.15 right now, this is, I believe, the earliest you can, you can get off. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Don't do it. Stay on as long as possible. Good morning, Casey. Aww. Good morning. I should say Kyle's birthday I know, I know. land. But I'm wearing this in honor of you. When did you get that shirt? Um, I got it at Disney. Let's see it. Yeah, looks I got good. it at Magic Kingdom. It was probably like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's go have some breakfast Yeah. and then get off. Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> good morning. I'm sad. If you guys have a Foster on your cruise, you're in good hands. Such a nice man. We're writing him a note. And obviously leaving him some more gratuity. He deserved it. He was super nice to us. Always would stop and talk and had a smile on his face. Disney does it best. They really do. Nothing against other ships, but you know. It's like on a level on Disney Cruise. Goodbye room. Really gonna miss that balcony. Onward to breakfast. I'm just sad anywhere but here. I'm not sad. Inform you that Bye. the Disney Wish is now cleared by local so nice. and border protection for those guests Aww. with luggage tag colors and I'm just that sad. Are with Elevators are very busy, so we got a while. Really like this bag. This thing on. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Well, gosh, if you can hear me, we sure had a great old time sailing with you and hope to see you again soon. <laughs> and if you can hear me. Everything going down is full, so we pressed up. This might be the secret. We made it just on time. The secret was to press up. That's the secret. Well, it's not, the secret's out. That's out? I was gonna say, no one's going up right now because Marceline Market is closed, so it didn't even make us go up at all. Genius IQ moves from this new 30 year old right here. Oh boy. Same table as last night. Casey's feeling a lot better. Breakfast and some lovely coffee. Good morning. 
We've got quite the, the menu here for breakfast. I think I'm gonna get the southern hash with like a side of hash browns because they're so good. For some reason I've just been loving hash anywhere I go. I don't know what I got last time. The hash is kind of calling me today. Of course we got the coffee, but Casey is announcing my birthday to everybody. I think it's his birthday. <laughs> It's your 30th. I feel like the whole world should know. World of Marvel. <laughs> Case just got bacon, eggs, and a lovely hash brown. And I got the hash, which I think I might have gotten this last time, or one of the times. It's absolutely delicious. And I had to get a this side of the hash brown because these hash browns are amazing. There goes my my egg yolk. <laughs> And we have a special the singer here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What to celebrate? Mr. Yeah. Kyle's birthday. 30th birthday. birthday. 30th. Who? His 30th birthday. Mr. Kyle, yes. Mr. Kyle, 30th birthday. Yes, yes of course. One, two, and three. Yes. Happy birthday. 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 Happ
sell out. Kind of like a very extra mug, but I'm really happy with it. I wanted to get two more other mugs, but the problem with those mugs are, I, I, is like, I, I like a good handle on my mugs, you know? And these, these are like the only two that had a good ha a handle. The other ones were kind of small, but yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with it. We're doing a little iPhone vlogging tonight. Don't know how much I'm gonna film since it, this is like my birthday dinner and you know, Casey looking lovely as always. You also look incredible. Thank you. He's wearing his nice shoes. He's wearing a nice button down. Uh, He's wearing pants. We're just chilling. He's wearing pants. It's crazy. We're officially 30 and we were driving on Disney property and coming here. It feels really, really empty this, this evening, which is odd, but we'll take it. We've never been to Shula, Shula's. It's our first time. Ooh. Ooh. Do you want to share with me? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, it does. Well, come on in. We very rarely visit here. Maybe more to come. Here it is, Shula's Steakhouse, right to the right. Been wanting to do this forever. Looks rather fancy, because it is Don Shula. Shula's Steak Knives at the table. I'm just gonna show you guys what we get and I'll probably come back for a full experience for a vlog. Just gonna enjoy it here tonight with Casey. All I gotta say is, wow, Shula's does not disappoint. This bread service, unbelievable. We got some wine, of course, you know, we're celebrating. Excellent drinks all around. I got this smoky bourbon drink, I believe it was. Oh, I know, it was good. And, oh my gosh, I just wanna go back. Started out with the this bacon appetizer that they actually gifted to us. It was un. Believable, and I mean unbelievable. Decided to order Wagyu steak for the very first time, Japanese Wagyu steak. Casey got the quote unquote regular filet when we got mac and cheese and broccoli on the side. But holy cow, if you guys have never had Wagyu, it is like butter. It melts in your mouth and I've never tasted anything like it ever before in my entire life and I wanna go back right now. Don't even ask the price because it was expensive. It was my birthday, but it was so good and I can't wait to vlog my whole experience when I come back here to Shula's. Kind of disappointed I, I didn't, but hey, it was my birthday. Just want to be off camera and enjoy it. It was on Japanese Wagyu melts in your mouth. I've never had anything like it before in my life. <laughs> Casey's trying Wagyu. Yeah, that's real. Like, yeah, the stories are real. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna need to come back to make a full vlog on this experience. But they actually just brought me um, uh, this, I believe they call it 301 wine. That it's it's like a baby wine from Australia. He's probably something crazy. And like the, the wines from this go from like 800 to 1,000. It's, it's nuts. Here we go. I gotta make a wish. I am blown away. Probably the best dinner I've ever had in my life, and I can't wait to give a review when we get home. That was a 10,000 out of 10. That was amazing. Such a good birthday celebration for Kyle. Ladies and gents, look what has just arrived. <laughs> the last of the, the porch has arrived, so let's get to work. Now I know this isn't going to be the last of our porch, because I know we wanna get some rugs, Casey wants to sprouse it up or whatever you, spruce it up, whatever you wanna call it. So let's get this, let's get this set up and put outside. It's actually a rainy day today, it's, it's weird. Next couple days is rain. This is different from what we have outside. It's like the big, the big couch. If you guys saw our shopping vlog, you know what it is. It's heavy though, so I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. It's it's 
very heavy. Four pieces should be pretty darn easy, hopefully, to put together. Again, this is from World Marketplace. Oh, we did also get this. Um, so hopefully this actually works. You just spray the cushion and the water just falls on off. Next time you, you build something, I want you guys to try to film it. I say this every time, but it really is difficult. So if you watch YouTubers who build stuff, they're probably an expert at filming their process, but still trying to get the hang of it. It is quite the process. It's fun though. I actually really prefer putting it together. Every time this is a blast. Well, this has never happened. Minor issue. It's not my building. I've been here just kind of like changing the screws. For some reason, this screw isn't taking. It's the right size, but I think there's something wrong with this build. I'm gonna run to the store and get an eight by, I need something longer than 55. So eight by 58, I don't know if they make it. I'm gonna head to the, the Celebration Hardware and see if they have something. If not, I don't know what to do because this doesn't go in. It doesn't fit. It literally does not take. So we'll see what works. This is what it's doing. Everything is put together right. And it's just not taking. So a longer one will do the trick. Kind of unfortunate, but it's what needs to be done. They're so clutch here because they know everything. I love like a small town hardware store because they'll point you right where you need to go. Dunzo, we just needed a little bit longer since it wasn't taking, but this should do the trick. $1.59. Also, here's what the hardware store looks like. Very hardware-y. Will this work? Let's find out, live. Ta-da! Wow, handyman Kyle, Bob the Builder. Yes, he can do it. Can you help me um, take this out? Let's... Have you noticed that I'm better at singing? You've gotten really good at singing. That was pretty good, you know I'm recording, right? I swear. Wait, they can hear me? Yeah, probably. Last but not least, it's time to put these bad boys on. Boom. Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna go in easier. There we go. What do y'all think. I mean, I think Casey definitely likes it. We could have gone for like the same match, but we wanted to go for a different vibe. And then we're going to get some carpet and some something else. I don't know. She's doing it. I think it looks great. She's coming along. I also got to get rid of these worms. I got to get like a power washer because it's kind of annoying me how dirty my porch is or, or porch. How dirty our porch is. Well, believe it or not, that's pretty much all we have planned for the vlog. The Disney Wish Cruise obviously was amazing. It was my third time on, and Casey's feeling a lot, lot better than obviously the day, or sorry, the night before. She felt better at night, but you know, you know, stuff just happens. You know, on a cruise ship, you never know how you're gonna feel. But highlights, actually, the the mini game we played on the ship was incredible. There's still things I did not get to do on The Wish. There's just so much to do. In three days, it's very hard to do it all. I think in four days, it'd be a lot easier to do it for like a content perspective and also like, you know, just like kind of just enjoying it. Cause that's kind of what we ultimately did this trip. I mean, obviously you did see us film a lot and go around the ship, but this whole thing was trying to just relax and not focus so much on the cruises, but thanks for a really crazy series. You guys went ham, we got a lot of subscribers. It was the second probably best series of the year, excluding Icon of the Seas, well, including Icon of the Seas. You can't really beat that one because that one just went ham. It was great, great birthday, and all in all, you know, we're 30 now, and we're back here in Florida, headed to Disney, and you know, I will say, our next trip is right around the corner in April. Very fast turnaround, I think we have about like, 
couple weeks until my next trip, which I will say is a banger. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It is another cruise. So we're going cruising really, really soon. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions down below about the wish, wish, feel free to leave them down below. Probably a really short vlog. Shortest probably in like over a year. But hey, sometimes we get some short vlogs here on the channel. And it is what it is, you know. I've actually been really addicted to MLB The Show 2024 for those of you who play games. I'm not really good. It's a baseball game. I'm trying to get a little bit better, but I don't really much I don't really game too much anymore. I want to get I want to get good, but now I'm starting to get addicted to golf again. I went golfing. Oh, I got to show you this. Look at this cool time lapse when we were leaving um Castaway. I didn't include it in the video and I was so mad. So mad. It's so cool. You can actually see like the water swirling as we leave. That was cool. A little clip that I forgot to add. I'm sorry. There's just so many clips that I need to edit. I did see a comment down below. Someone was asking if I edit my own videos. I don't or outsource them. I edit them because an editor, I believe, well, I, mean, I think like the cheapest editor you can get is like $200 and a good editor is $500 to $700 per video. Don't want to do that. And then of course you have to watch it again and send back notes. So I'd rather just like edit myself. It's just too hard to outsource when you daily vlog. Way too hard. Way too hard. For those who don't know, I edit my own videos. It was great. Hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I'll see you guys back at Animal Kingdom tomorrow because we have some huge updates while we're gone. Some big updates. Bye-bye.